happy Olam first. Oh, thank you. Uh, um, you too. You, you, you mentioned about Britain, uh, mentioned that Britain left India in, uh, in a worse off condition than, than it had it been without Britain. Oh, you also mentioned about reparation from Britain. What about the skills in engineering and manufacturing India acquired, the administrative and democratic processes it inherited, the infrastructure left behind, and most of all, the rapid education of the Indian people, of which you are an excellent e example. <laughs> Surely, no one can price these intangible values that were gained during the British rule in India and propel the country to its present position as one of the leading countries in the world. Finally, one more question. <laughs> I'm doing a Jeffrey Robertson here. In your opinion, where would India be today if the British did not step into India? Oh, there's a lot, lot there. It'll take the rest of the program to answer. I'll try and touch on it. <laughs> but this is almost like uh, the American saying to the widow of the American president, apart from that, Mrs. Lincoln, how did you enjoy the play? <laughs> you, you know, really, the British came to one of the richest countries in the world, uh, accounting for 27% of global GDP in 1700, 23% uh, in 1800, and over 200 years of exploitation, depredation, loot and destruction, reduced it to a poster child for third world poverty, uh, just over 3% of global GDP, 90% of the population living below the poverty line when the British left in 1947. A literacy rate, you speak of education, a literacy rate below 17% and a life expectancy of 27. The growth rate of British India from 1900 to 1947 was 0.001%. That's what they were doing while draining the country of taxes and resources. Education, my gosh, the British, the last thing they wanted to do was invest in educating Indians. Uh, it, Will Durant, the American historian traveling in India as late as 1930, pointed out that the entire expenditure of the British on education in India, from the nursery level to the highest universities, was less than half the high school budget of the state of New York. All the Indian Institutes of Technology, the engineering achievements you're talking about, were established after independence by the government of India. Uh, there is simply no comparison between the accomplishments of India rising from the ashes the British left us in and what was done in 200 years. Just, 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 many, take, many just, just take one example, the textile industry, because there you are. India was a, a huge exporter of For 2,000 textiles. years, it yes, was the yeah. world's leading exporter. What happened? In fact, in the Roman Empire, there are debates recorded by Pliny the Elder hmm. of Roman senators complaining about the amount of the Roman Empire's gold that was being sent off to India because of the tastes of Roman women for Indian muslins, linens, and, and cottons. But was so it, was, it just, was that, it just modernism, the industrial revolution that destroyed that, that, it, or was it something else? No, that's the excuse that apologists like mm -hmm. to make, that, you know, oh, it's not our fault, you just missed the bus for the Industrial Revolution. Well, we missed the bus because you threw us under its wheels, is what I tell the British. <laughs> I mean, that's it. fact is, in the name of free trade, the British came in and destroyed the free trade that had made India a leading exporter of textiles. The British soldiers smashed the looms so people couldn't practice their craft. They imposed punitive duties and taxes on the export of Indian textiles while lifting duties on the import of British cloth. And they achieved a captive market at the point of a gun. This is not exactly free trade, as you can imagine. Cities like Murshidabad and Dhaka and the subcontinent were depopulated. In one notorious incident, weavers had their thumbs cut off, so when the looms were repaired, they couldn't weave again. Textiles were systematically destroyed as an industry by the British, and that's only one example of many. Well, I'm going to quickly get.